Hello students, in this video, I will be discussing about orthogonal diagonalization. In the previous video, we saw that P inverse AP equal to D where P is the modal matrix D is D will be the resultant diagonal matrix whose diagonal values are the eigenvalues and P is constructed using the corresponding eigenvectors which are linearly independent now, if P is an orthogonal matrix, then P inverse equal to P transpose. In such a case, P transpose AP will be equal to the diagonal matrix T. Now the process involves this, uh, the process involved will be finding eigenvalues and the corresponding eigenvectors and ensuring that the eigenvectors that we get through the usual process are converted into orthogonal vectors, orthonormal vectors and hence P will become an orthogonal matrix. To illustrate this, I have chosen the example A equal to one one three one five one three one one. orthogonally diagonalize the matrix. Now we see that A is a symmetric matrix This implies eigenvalues are real. Now determinant A minus lambda i equal to 0. This implies minus lambda cube plus trace of A into lambda squared minus sum of the principal minors into lambda plus determinant a equal to 0. So we get minus lambda cube plus 7 lambda squared minus 36 equal to 0. So lambda equal to minus 2, 3 and 6. Eigenvectors are solutions of a minus lambda i into x equal to 0. Now lambda equal to minus 2 
implies a plus 2i equal to 3, 1, 3, 1, 7, 1, 3, 1, 3. Now this, when we apply row transformation to get it to the echelon form, we get 1, 7, 1, 3, 1, 3, 0, 0, 0. So a plus 2i will be similar to One seven one zero minus twenty zero 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 zero. So a plus two i into x equal to zero implies x plus seven y plus z equal to zero minus 20y equal to 0 so we get y equal to 0 z equal to k implies x equal to minus k so we have x equal to minus k 0 k that is k into minus 1 0 1 so we have x1 equal to minus 1 0 1 lambda equal to 3 this implies a minus 3i equal to minus 2 1 3 1 2 1 3 1 minus 2 now even though the three rows appear to be independent the fact that determinant a minus 3i is equal to 0 implies this matrix will be similar to 1 2 1 minus 2 1 3 0 0 0 so a minus 3i will be similar to 1 2 1 0 5 5 0 0 and 0 a minus 3i into x equal to 0 this implies x plus 2y plus z equal to 0 5y plus 5z equal to 0 z equal to k implies y equal to minus k this implies x minus 2k plus k is 0 so x equal to k so x will be k minus k k that is k into 1 minus 1 1 so x2 equal to 1 minus 1 1 
so lambda equal to 6 this implies a minus 6 i will be minus 5 1 3 1 minus 1 1 3 1 minus 5 so again a minus 5 6 i will be 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 5 1 3 0 0 0 so we have 1 minus 1 1 0 minus 4 8 0 0 0 a minus 6 i into x equal to 0 implies x minus y plus z equal to 0 minus 4 y plus 8 z equal to 0 z equal to k implies y equal to 2 k so x minus 2 k plus k equal to 0 so x equal to k so x will be k 2 k k that is k times 1 2 1 so x 3 will be 1 2 1 So we have the matrix A for lambda equal to minus 2 we have the vector x1 lambda equal to 3 we have vector x2 lambda equal to 6 we have vector x3 now to now we require P to be orthogonal matrix now these x1 because lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 3 are distinct the eigenvectors will also be distinct and linearly independent but they need not be orthogonal so the first step is to check if they are orthogonal and if they are not orthogonal convert them to orthogonal vectors So we have x1, x2, this is equal to minus 1 plus 0 plus 1 which is 0, x1, x3, the inner product will be minus 1 plus 0 plus 1 which is 0, inner product of x2, x3 will be 1 minus 2 plus 1 which is 0, this implies x1, x2, x3 are mutually orthogonal. Now P is orthogonal. This implies columns of P are orthonormal x1 x2 and x3 are orthogonal so we convert them to or normal orthonormal vectors by normalizing each of the vectors now x1 equal to minus 1 0 1 so inner product of x1 with x1 equal to 2 
this implies norm of x1 equal to root 2. So u1 equal to x1 by norm of x1 which is minus 1 by root 2 0 1 by root 2 similarly x2 is one minus one one so inner product of x2 with x2 is one plus one plus one which is three this implies norm of x2 is square root of three u2 is x2 by norm of x2 which is 1 by root 3 minus 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 and x3 is 1 2 1 so inner product of x3 with x3 will be 1 plus 4 plus 1 which is 6 norm of x3 is root 6 therefore u3 which is x3 over norm of x3 equal to 1 by root 6 2 by root 6 1 by root 6 so p equal to u1 u2 u3 that is minus 1 by root 2 0 1 by root 2 1 by root 3 minus 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 1 by root 6 2 by root 6 1 by root 6 one can verify that since columns of p are orthonormal p will be an orthogonal matrix therefore p inverse a p is p transpose and so p transpose a p equal to minus 2 3 and 6 the remaining elements are zeros